the Lakshmi Narsimha Temple at Javagal, sometimes referred to as Lakshmi Narsimha Temple of Javagal, is a mid 13th century Hindu temple with Oisala architecture. It is located in Javagal, about 20 km northeast from Halibir and 50 km from Hassan city, Karnataka state, India. This triple shrine temple is dedicated to Narsimha, the man lion avatar of Vishnu. It was completed between 1250 to 1260 AD by King Virasomeshwara of the Hoysala Empire. These sanctums are dedicated to Lakshmi Narsimha, Sridhara and Venu Gopala. It is notable for its lavish artwork consisting of over 100 panels, all intricately carved both outside and inside. Many of these panels depict legends from the Ramayana. The temple is a protected monument under the Karnataka State Division of the Archaeological Survey of India. The foundation stone and inscriptions of Lakshmi Narsimha Temple of Javakal is missing. This temple cannot, therefore, be directly dated. However, one can infer its date from the signatures carved into some of the panels. Some of them are signatures of the famed 13th century sculptor Malitamma, known for his exquisite artwork elsewhere. Such evidence suggests that this temple was completed by about 1260 CE. The temple plan is square, similarly similar to other Hoysala temples. It is a Trikuta temple, one where only the middle shrine has a superstructure and a Sukhanasi. The three equal size shrines are all square in plan and are connected by a common closed hall. The central shrine is highly visible from the outside because of its tower. The lower part of the shrines have five projections per side. These projections being visible on three sides in the case of the central shrine, but only on side in the case of the lateral shrines. The temple stands on a platform, a feature common to many Hoysala temples. It closely follows the outline of the temple, giving it a good elevated look. The tower over the central shrine and the vestibule are intact and highly decorated. Other standard features in a Hoysala temple are the large domed roof over the temple, which is also the largest sculpture piece in a Hoysala temple and whose shape usually follows that of the shrine. The decorative plan of the outer walls of the shrines and the mandapa is Hoysala style with two eaves that run around the temple. According to art historians Janet Fokema, the wall panel images 140 in all and the reliefs and phrases the abound in this temple have a relaxed quality of workmanship about them and appear more folkish in character. 
here the first heavy eaves run below the superstructure and all around the temple with a projection of about half a meter the second eaves run around the temple about a meter below the first in between the two eaves are the miniature decorative towers on pilasters below the second eaves are the wall panels of images of hindu deities and their attendants in relief because this at the base are the six equal width rectangular moldings starting from the top the friezes depicts hansa birds in the first phrase makara aquatic monster in the second epics and other stories in the third usually from the hindu epic ramayana the mahabharata and stories of krishna these is scrolls in the fourth horses in the fifth and elephants in the sixth if you liked our video please like share and subscribe to our channel thank you